Hi guys, it's Crypto Rocco here guys, Rocco's back guys, I'm doing a video every day and whenever there's some big news I'm going to do a video to keep you guys safe in the crazy world of crypto money. So in today's video I'm going to talk about Mt. Gox, Mt. Gox and Bitcoin. There's been a lot of news coming out, I'm going to share the news, the facts, the FUD, everything guys and also share you my kind of course faction of price prediction for what for bitcoin so bitcoin have crashed slightly guys if you guys are aware it went on a rally and then it crashed and um, there could be few reasons for it but now the mount gox issue is just another negative news that we didn't need to that we didn't need but it's kind of understandable because it went up it went on a rally so we were expecting consolidation but how far it's going to go down not many people know I, as you guys know I've, I've still had some cash on the side for bitcoin because i'm not sure whether it's a bull market yet it's good to see this upward trend but this consolidation is not bad unless it drops further with this mount gox issue so the news that's come out is that more than 140 million in Bitcoin moved from Mt. Gox wallet. Are they going to drop the these Bitcoins and drop the price of Bitcoin like they've done before? So I'm going to do a quick talk. Before I do this, guys, if you've watched my videos, you're sure. Um, I'm sure you know what Mt. Gox is. I've, I've gone through their history. I'm going to just quickly give you guys a quick update of Mt. Gox. It was launched by Jed McCaleb in, in US. It's a US, US programmer. It was sold to a French guy. And then now... I think there's a Japanese guy who's kind of looking after it. So what and, and what's the struggles behind it? So the, the past issue was it, the Mt. Gox got hacked. And when they got hacked, the price dropped, I think, like 80 or 90 percent. It was something crazy. They saw, they lost about 80,000 Bitcoin. I think even more, some people say. But they've lost a lot of Bitcoin. They've lost a lot of money. And um, so still 107,000, almost 800,000 bitcoins that, that it got stolen but there's there's a lot of issues a lot of fud going around there and it affected mount Gox was a massive exchange it affected bitcoin price massively so it said that the, the website had found 200 bitcoins there's a lot of rumors and uh, it's difficult to say what they've done what they haven't done i've gone through the history again i'm not going to do it again but it said that you know six six hundred thousand six and six six hundred fifty thousand is still unaccounted for and it, it it dropped massively and it had a massive effect of what mount gox did to the bitcoin and cryptocurrency market and um, the question is could it happen again it's a lot more secure now so I'd, I'd say it's a lot less likely and i think coinbase is insured so that's actually very good that coinbase is insured deposits so it's a good that's why it's one of the most popular exchanges and i i've got a link downstairs because uh down below because it's such an important one if you want to find out more about bitcoin sorry the mount gox story this is a really good article go read this guys it talks through all the detail all, all, all the summary key points i've talked about it goes in detail of when it happened when they lost it when the price dropped it's quite good i'll give you guys a quick summary of what the price these the key points of sale and and the effect this is a, another really good thing i wanted to share with you guys it shows you where it got sold and the, the price of returns it's saying that the day it got sold the price actually went up so it's a bit i don't know whether you can believe that because i think it had an effect because if you see they sold it almost at the high 6000 and it dropped after so maybe it wasn't priced into the it, this this price this this news wasn't priced into the price of bitcoin or it might not have been already included in the price so it's difficult to say what actually happened but in my opinion it might not have a direct correlation but it has definitely definitely had an effect so is it going to crash again in the past like you see when they've sold their bitcoin crashed massively there was that big crash in in january february time so in my so this guy is saying that in my opinion they shouldn't be allowed to sell any if they did then it should be a drip fit amount so they shouldn't be allowed to sell to make money they should do it in a drip fit amount but there, there is another article saying that they're not going to sell it in a way that affects the price so if you believe that it shouldn't affect the price at all but i think it, this could have a negative effect not a direct impact but people might think that it will have an effect which will cause the bitcoin to crash but make up your own mind but this is some massive massive news guys so now they've taken money out to their wallets and people are speculating that they'll drop it when they, they when they dropped it before um, it, when they dropped their bitcoins it crashed before uh, or, or after because they're quite clever they probably sell it at the top and if you want proof there's proof of you know their wallet because they know where what mount gox's wallets are and people taking up bitcoins and there's a good website that you can follow to the 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 
Bitcoin movement, MTGOX cold wallet monitor, which is quite interesting. I'm going to read these things out because they're quite good. So they're, they're saying that this may already be priced in, like this is a day after, because news is usually behind. People say buy the rumor, sell the news. So it might not actually drop it as much as people said it could, but it's difficult to say that. I mean, I'm like I've said, I've not put that much money in in bitcoin now but it's, it's difficult to say but people are saying that they will they'll do it in a right way but are they going to do it in a right way or are they going to just drop it so this guy is saying there is no awareness of any authorization to sell anything that's something you just made up 16k coins moved nothing more stretching into some kind of fun, fictional order to sell every coin is just a bit of a stretch so you could say that i'm looking into it a bit too much but i just wanted to give you guys the latest news of what's going on and make up your you make up your own mind so this is the article that talks about this. So this is the website that shows it. Go check it out for yourself. And one last thing I'd like to show you is this Mt. Gox trustee is in kind of charge of this bitcoins is saying that they won't just drop it in a way that will affect the price they'll do it in a different way where it doesn't affect the price. So he's saying there's no correlation of them selling it with the price of Bitcoin and Bitcoin crash. I'm not too sure that's what he's claiming it to be. I'll let you guys make up your own mind. In this channel, guys, I'm going to do more of this video and be a bit more active. So if you want the latest news at the right time, guys, uh, subscribe to my channel, guys. I do loads of videos on price prediction, news, technical analysis, uh, on Twitter and Instagram. I send out signals, trading signals, and the whole lot. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And sorry for doing another video of a negative news of Bitcoin. Next video that I do will be a positive uh, view of a Bitcoin. And, la and lastly, my prediction, guys, there could be another dip. I'm staying on the sidelines before I can find out what Bitcoin is doing. I might miss out on having to buy it a bit higher, but that's a risk that I'm, I'm willing to take. But my prediction for Bitcoin is massively bullish this year. I, I believe there will be new all-time highs. And if you watch my previous videos, there's people a lot smarter than me like tim draper tom lear saying he's gonna hit or new all-time highs so that's my prediction guys so thank you thank you very much for watching subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you